first thing is making it functional then we'll make it pretty so stay tuned <laughs> So I bought an extension cord to replace the power cord. So it's black. It kind of matches everything. It looks, looks like original. I think for the most part, I'm gonna try to keep this as original as possible. So you can see here, I got, got that. And I can go ahead and plug it in, but there's some uh, strap clamps that I need to remove in order to be able to get rid of that old cable. So that's what we're gonna work on next. It's kind of tight quarters in there. And I know that there's a way that you can take the whole condensing unit out, uh, but I'm kind of lazy that way and I don't really want to. So right here's that screw. Might be stripping it. Yep, that's a problem. <laughs> so we might have to do something else. Snap. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing's ever easy. So this has been sitting there rusting and everything else. So. It's just not going to go. I'm just destroying it. Well, snap. Now we'll have to figure something else out. Stick with me. First things first. We're going to get rid of this old cable. It's not good for anything. And uh, even though I can't take the clamps out yet, I can, I can do this. There we go. Then I should be able to, maybe, <laughs> if the clamps are loose enough. Yeah, they're not. Man, nothing's gonna be easy with this thing. I can see that right now. So let's vacuum. You ready? All right, let's do it. see how big a mess this is I'll take you around to the front now we got to vacuum this out order I think we got the bulk of it. Looks a lot better. Now I'll get the air compressor, blow compressed air in there, and hopefully that'll get it the rest of the way. Stick with me. All right, let's blow this thing out. All right, so it looks a good bit cleaner. So we got the new cord plugged in. We're gonna plug this into our power and see if the compressor turns on. Ready? Fan's turning. Could sure use that, that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna put this back grill back on and uh, we'll button this thing up a little bit. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about that, but for now, I'm going to leave it. So, stick with me. We'll put this back cover back on. Ugh. Let me see. Get you situated. There we go. We've got tight quarters. Very tight quarters. Looks a little bent. Just a little bent here. Straighten that up. Oh yeah, much better. 
I gotta shut that door up and uh, make sure that it is cooling off. I need to get my remote um, thermometer and put in there and see what the temperature is. So we can do a temperature check. I don't know what this grill actually does considering everything else is open with it. You know what I'm saying? This and this is open. So it doesn't make any sense. But that's okay. I don't have to understand it. Like I don't understand why this screw doesn't line up. <laughs> There we go. Now we got it lined up. Hopefully this one will go in better. Yep. There we go. Good deal. Yeah, when I plugged this in when I first got it home, uh, sparks just shot out of the plug. So that wasn't fun at all. All right, so I'm gonna go, let's see, I'm gonna go back into the front. And I had adjusted the uh, um, thermometer, or not, not thermometer, thermostat, because uh, the guy said when it was running, stuff in the bottles was freezing. So I turned it back a little bit. Let me turn you around. Everything is tight to get to. So the thermostat, I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't see it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. See that? That's fun to get to, isn't it? So I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. I can't do that one-handed. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off. Stick with me. All right, I set it for four and a half let me put this this is the um the little hopper for any condensation put that back in there <clears throat> it's been warped up from the heat and everything so let's shut this door so that uh there you are let's shut this door so it can start getting cold and I still got a lot of cleaning up to do with this. It's still pretty dirty. I didn't see where it said about the uh, um, the bottom brackets for when you're using bottles. It said it was in the bottom of the door. So I don't know if it's behind this or not. I know there's a, a lot of wires going in there. So I'm a little reluctant to take the cover off that. But I might have to, or I might have to look online to see if anybody's got any of those brackets. If you have any of those lower brackets, let me know. Um, sure would like to get my hands on a couple of them so we could run bottles. And I wouldn't mind running single stacks of uh, cans too. So if you have one, two, up to six, I could use six. Let me know. Uh, leave a comment below, shoot me an email at hiswayhomestead for you at gmail.com and uh, man i'd love to talk to you stick with me all right so we're going to sit that right there it's going to tell us uh, temperature and humidity so we'll close this up might load some more cans up see how it goes stick with me all right i'm going to load some cans up we'll see how many cans it takes before it trips that uh, switch that says that uh, it's not empty. Then we'll try to vent some. All right, so it looks like it's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, before it trips that switch. 
when it says it's not full. I'll put one in another set in uh, another so we can play around with uh, make sure they're all bending. mention it's hot out here I'm hot very hot put two more in there and then we'll close it up let it get cold all right you can see that the Mountain Dew light is off the Dr. Pepper light is off. The orange crush light is saying it's empty. This one, I think the light is blown on it. This one's saying empty. This one's saying empty. So, all in all, not too bad. I don't know if this will actually say use correct change or not. Let's, uh, let's do one more thing. This, the coin operation is really cool. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning. I need to scrub it down with warm water. Let's see. Uh, so the cool thing is if all the selections are empty, it'll just drop coins straight down to the coin return. So it won't make any selection at all. Um, let me pull this off. Oh, it's got different set of dip switches in it. It's not the standard. So I don't know how to set those. I was going to change the um, the pricing, but I don't want to mess with that right now. There is a computer. <laughs> there we go close this up let's see it's just been running just a few seconds yeah it's not cooling off any I think it went up in temperature so we'll leave that go for a while and see what happens hopefully it'll cool off in the meantime let's put some money in it see if it'll drop any out See what happens. There we go, it's hit Mountain Dew. Yep, it's saying it's out. <laughs> it didn't vent anything. It's saying it's out. Let's put Let's try it again. A quarter in there. Didn't sound like anything went. Might be sticking. The coin operation was a little sticky. I need to clean that out really good. Doesn't feel like. Yeah, it feels like it's hanging up. It's not quite going in there. There it goes. There it goes. Let's see. Yep. Didn't do it. I think you have to purge them. It said that you need to purge it out a little bit when you uh, first do it. What about it being an escrow? Which I don't understand all that. But the quarter didn't fall. 
That one didn't fall either. <laughs> Nothing. Got enough quarters. <laughs> we'll get it. I don't know. It still needs work, right? I don't know. Not a good sign. <laughs> it was working last night. Oh my goodness. It went into it. There we go. Yay. <laughs> it's not cold yet. <laughs>